Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to my weekly Quest 4 350 video and I am trying out something slightly different again with my swing. Basically I was having a look at some of the real kind of power hitters on tour, their swings and one thing that was very very noticeable, well amongst the whole raft of other things I've been trying which are also noticeable, one thing which was very very noticeable is actually through impact the actual turn continues with the body so much and so hard that after they actually finish hitting the shot, some of the biggest players in the world and some of the best players on tour as well, the actual middle of the chest points a long way off to the left-hand side after impact. And this just shows how much body rotation is involved throughout the actual shot. So what I'm going to try today is a bit of a combination. I'm going to try a bit of a combination of getting the club moving slightly from the inside, so hitting around and then up, over the target line, trying to get a bit of a draw going on, but also through impact, I'm really gonna rotate the body hard. See if I can generate some more club head speed, but also see if I can make the contact a little bit sweeter. So as always, using the Flyscope X2 today, I'm gonna give a massive good run out to the R15 this week. I've been kind of switching in between the R15 and the 915D3, but I'm gonna give this a bit of an extended run. So I've got the R15, it's cranked all the way down to the lowest setting, just about 7.5 five on here. Uh, I've got both the weights set over to the toe of the club just to try and get a little bit more club head speed and I'm just going to try and hit it as hard as possible. I've had a little bit of a practice at this and it does feel strange but I think it should give me a little bit more of a oomph through the actual ball. So we will see. Let's give it a go. Right, 10 shots, let's give it a smash and then we'll go for it. Right guys, so I've just bashed those balls away and I think I may have found something. I think I may have found something. Rather stupidly of me in some respects, but rather positively of me in some other respects. Normally with these kind of tests, apart from one I did a few weeks ago, I set the flight scope to a long indoor mode. So it doesn't take account of the conditions outside, which is always in Manchester this time of year, are cold and wet and a little bit miserable. And it kind of just calculates ball numbers. Now what I actually forgot to do, switch it to long indoor mode. So it's still on outdoor mode, which is measuring the accurate ball data. So what's actually happening to the ball in these current conditions. But despite that, despite that, I've hit some of the longest drives I've hit, but also some of the best feeling drivers I've hit as well. All whilst not having as quick a club speeds as I have been having. It's all very, very interesting stuff. Well, for, for me anyway, hopefully you guys are interested in this as well as I am. Sorry, dragging you along on my own little trip here. But <laughs> basically what was happening to these numbers, my average carry distance over the 10 was 305. Total distance average 315. But a couple in here carry 321 carry. 321 carry, 332 total different distance. Just a little bit spinny, which is maybe why I didn't quite get the release out there. But... My, my total distance is 327, 304, 317, 299, 332, 307, 322, 309, 307, 326. Banging it out there. Absolutely smashing it out there. The actual feeling of getting it on slightly inside and really rotating the body, it was, 
a very weird one to begin with and I was really fighting to kind of hold my balance through the swing. I actually managed to do that quite well. I was quite surprised by myself. The one thing which I wanted to add in was a little bit of a squat as well. It's something which I've been trying to add in, but I didn't quite manage to get it in there today. If I can combine that with this, I really should get a bit of a spurt of club head speed. And I've not actually managed to get to the gym only once this week. So this is a real, I don't know, I think this might be a real kind of moment for me here. Actually managing if I can implement the squat, implement this extra body turn, get the club head speed up, I could be a lot, lot closer here. Because I did not think I would be able to get those numbers off the real ball data today. If I was using, say, the GC2 or the closed data, oh man, I, I, could, I wouldn't have been far away, I don't think, from the 350 mark. I don't think I'm there yet, definitely, because my club head speed was too low. But man, this is, this is really cool, this is really cool. So you kind of see the numbers there. I will switch over. Sorry, I'm, a bit, I'm rather ex too excited for a Monday. I think I might have slipped one too many uh, sugars in that coffee. So I'll show, you, <laughs> I'll show you these numbers here. And then I'll shift you on to, if you have a kind of an overall look of my... Uh, my dispersion here as well, because I've got to be honest, I had a couple of large ones kind of go off to the right hand side, but a lot of them were actually quite accurate as well. They weren't a massive kind of amount off my actual target line. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn pleased actually. Sorry, I'm just kind of taking pictures jotted along. Um, so yeah, awesome. It's been, a, it's been a good old week. Definitely better than last week when I was trying to lift my left foot up in the air, crikey. So, Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely something I'm going to be taking into my swing. I don't think not only into my driver swing, I think into my full swing as well, because I was striking those quite well, really, for the amount of kind of effort I was putting in. This is cool. This is really, really cool. Um, all right, guys. Thank you for watching so much yet again. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, follow me on my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, all those kind of portals of my social media kind of platforms as well. And let me know what you think. Right very jolly for a Monday. I will see you next week with more Quest for 350, with loads of videos also coming up this week, and more also next week, probably some videos coming up more about the trip to Dubai, uh, which me, Rick, are going on with an app called Pin Seekers, which should be pretty cool as well. Right, might go with some more balls.